Perfect Dark is a first-person shooter that was released back in 2000 for the Nintendo 64. A potential sequel was almost made called Velvet Dark, which would have instead followed Dark Sister, but was cancelled. In 2005, a prequel to Perfect Dark was released as a launch title for the Xbox 360, called Perfect Dark Zero, and was still developed by Rare Studios. And in 2010, there was a remaster released for the Xbox 360, but the remaster was made by a different company. So it's been 10 years since we have seen anything new for the series, and fans have wondered if we will ever see the series return, and recent rumors have hinted that we might not have to wait too much longer for the series to return. So let's break down everything we know about the Perfect Dark reboot, including the leaks, rumors, and which studio is working on the title. As always, all the sources will be linked down below, so make sure to check those out and support those original articles. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about the Perfect Dark reboot. Let's quickly touch on the history of the game. The original Perfect Dark was developed by Rare Studios, as I said, which before this was known for Battletoads and more recently is known for Sea of Thieves and Perfect Dark was released to critical acclaim and commercial success, and as of 2011, the game had sold 3.2 million copies worldwide. Two years later, after the release of the original game in 2002, Microsoft bought Rare Studios for $375 million to make games for Xbox consoles, and they were hoping to replicate the success with all the games Rare had released for the Nintendo 64. Microsoft also got all of Rare's original IPs, such as Perfect Dark, so by proxy, Microsoft became the owner of Perfect Dark. After Rare was acquired by Microsoft, they then shifted their current project, Perfect Dark Zero, from developing for the Nintendo GameCube to the Xbox 360. But time was a limitation, so the game could be released in time for the launch of the Xbox 360, and Perfect Dark Zero was released in November of 2005 and was met with mostly positive reviews and had sold over a million copies worldwide, but it was not the smash hit Xbox expected. And then five years later, Microsoft released a remaster of the original and then the series was unofficially put on hold as Rare went to work on new projects. And that's kind of where the series was at for most of the mid-2010s, and it wasn't until 2018 where rumors of a Perfect Dark reboot started. There was information from an Xbox Live API leak, which was the same leak that gave us some early information on Fable 4, so if you've been following this channel, you saw that I talked about the Fable 4 leak that came from this. And another game that was mentioned in this Xbox leak was Perfect Dark. Now, the leaker who had all this information wrote it more as games he would like to see instead of directly leaking the games to provide himself some protection if he was ever found or prosecuted for leaking all this information. But for Perfect Dark, he said, quote, I would love to play around with Miss Dark again. The Coalition should definitely help if it is a third person game. I mean, not them alone, obviously. Now, this is interesting for multiple reasons. They mentioned that Coalition is the developer behind the Perfect Dark reboot. The Coalition, if you don't know, is the developer behind Gears of War 4 and 5. Now, this leak was posted in 2018, and Gears of War 5 was just released in 2019, so it's not impossible that they had started working on Perfect Dark a year before, I would just say it's unlikely. They also go on to say that the Coalition is not the only developer working on the game, which obviously implies that Rare would still be involved in potentially other studios as well. And they also say the game will be third person, which is very interesting considering that the games up to this point had always been first person and that is what the series was known for. And out of all the leaks I've covered on this channel, this is definitely one of the more reputable sources. It comes directly from Xbox APIs and the Fable information all turned out to be true. So it seems like this one should be pretty believable as well. And the leaks did not stop there, they continued on into 2019 as well, when an alleged insider gave information he had heard was going to be shown off at E3. He did give the disclaimer that everything is subject to change, and the Perfect Dark actually was under a sub-description in his post, which said there was the smallest possibility of happening, this was a far future project, 
tiny chances of being teased either here or most likely next year category. So he's saying that yes, Perfect Dark is happening, but they just weren't sure if they were going to announce it at E3 2019 or more likely at E3 2020. Now, his leaked information for Perfect Dark says, quote, Perfect Dark Reboot. Reboot of the franchise, but this time in third person view as opposed to first person. Not being developed by Rare, but supervised by Rare. Remember, Rare does not work on old IPs anymore. They hand them over to other studios slash teams. Battletoads is an example of that. It's being developed by Dalala Studios under the supervision of Rare, as far as I'm concerned. Then they jump back to Perfect Dark and say this is a game you 100% won't see for a long time, but it's happening most likely next year. And this information builds up the past information we have heard, that the game is third person, Rare is going to supervise, but will not directly work on the game. And I know a lot of people have been confused by the wording, but he's not saying the Perfect Dark reboot is being developed by Dalala Studios, Battletoads is being developed by Dalala and is being supervised by Rare, so that's not what's happening with Perfect Dark. He's just saying that that's an example of the relationship that Rare has with these studios who remake their games. He also does say we won't see it for a long time, but what we could see this year, 2020, is a teaser or something really small just to get fans excited. So at this point, it's still assumed that the Coalition is developing the game with Rare supervising the project. And he does say we won't see the game for a long time, which makes sense with the Coalition's timing. They just finished Gears of War 5. It's possible we could have seen a small teaser at E3 2020 before it was canceled. So now we could really see the Perfect Dark reboot teased at any of the upcoming Xbox events throughout the rest of this year or early next year. But obviously it's never as cut and clean as that. There are also rumors that The Initiative, which is a new studio from Microsoft and Xbox, and the current rumor started to circulate that they were actually the studio working on the Perfect Dark reboot, which mostly stemmed from a LinkedIn profile from a contract employee who worked at The Initiative from July of 2019 to February of 2020. During his time at the company, he said that he, quote, designed and scripted various weapons, gadgets, and a camera surveillance system for an unannounced project, and he was also responsible for scripting and creating various world interactables and gameplay objects such as doors, destructibles, hazards, triggers, and much more. Now, this information started to circulate and fans started to predict and assume that this was for the Perfect Dark reboot, and the information was eventually removed from the LinkedIn account. Now, I don't think that it was removed necessarily because it was teasing Perfect Dark, but more so because Microsoft has been so careful about keeping what the initiative is working on as a secret, so they want to limit all the information out there on the studio. But the information that was given does sound like it lines up with what we've seen in Perfect Dark up to this point with the gadgets, weapons, camera surveillance system. It seems to line up with the past games and would make sense why Microsoft is keeping it so secret. The only other information that we have that tie the initiative to Perfect Dark comes from a tweet from Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. He actually visited the initiative and played the current version of what they're working on. And after its studio visit, he made a tweet saying, quote, Great update today with at D Gallagher and the team at the initiative. Incredibly talented studio challenging themselves to do new things and old things in new ways. Now, the old things comment is what fans have pointed to as maybe what they are working on is an old IP and could be Perfect Dark, which is why they're challenging themselves to do new things for the franchise, even though it's an old IP. So that's another huge piece of information that fans have started to point to, thinking, well, maybe the initiative is working on Perfect Dark. Some of the information we have seen from them is starting to line up, while we really haven't seen anything from the Coalition other than that initial leak. So with all these leaks and information, it really could be either studio working on the Perfect Dark reboot, and the community is still split overall on which studio they think is actually working on the title, so it really could be either the Coalition or the Initiative, and there's no real confirmation pointing one way or the other until we actually see a trailer or some early gameplay. And throughout this process, there's also been notable gaming insiders teasing Microsoft rebooting a big franchise, 
One such insider is Shinobi602, who said, quote, It's not my place to give details, and my username would be plastered on sites come morning if I did, so I won't. But you won't have to wait too much longer. I'm incredibly excited at what's coming for Xbox, gorgeous fantasy worlds, reboots, and big sci-fi. Should be a lot of fun. The fantasy element sounds like it definitely could be Fable 4, and a reboot definitely sounds like Perfect Dark. Obviously though, this is just speculation and we still don't have anything confirmed up to this point. The last news we have to talk about is all the recent Twitter accounts popping up for unannounced games. So if you haven't been following the news, basically two Twitter accounts were found for Fable and Perfect Dark. Both were assumed to have been created by Microsoft because the Fable account was made with a Microsoft email and the Perfect Dark Twitter account was being followed by a member of Xbox. So fans started to get themselves hyped up that this confirmed a new Fable and Perfect Dark were happening. But the Perfect Dark account owner actually came out and said that they are just a fan of the series who picked up the Twitter name after seeing the Fable account was created. They did try to explain why a Microsoft employee was following them, who was Ken Lobb. Ken is actually the partner creative director at Xbox Game Studios. He actually just out of the blue requested to follow the account. Once the news and account blew up, the owner of the Perfect Dark account actually reached out to Ken and asked if Microsoft wanted the account and to pick it up. He said he still hadn't heard a response, but if Microsoft wants it, they're more than willing to give it up. So as of now, the account is not for anything, and having a follow from Ken Lobb was just a coincidence, unless Microsoft ends up picking up the account. So where does that leave us now? It's very likely that some version of Perfect Dark is coming, and based off the leaks, a reboot seems like the most likely option. It could be developed by either The Initiative, which is a new studio by Microsoft working on a very secret project, or The Coalition, which is a known Xbox studio, or a different developer we haven't even talked about. Either way, if the rumors are to be believed, we should be hearing about the game soon, as early as this year, but the release is still a ways out. And that is everything we know about the Perfect Dark reboot. As always, make sure to like and share this video, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.